Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we look at Galatians chapter number 2 and verse 20. Living by faith. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who died. The one who gave himself for us. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So today we are reminded that Jesus Christ gave himself for us so when we look at the death of christ on the cross it showed us that there was no salvation to anybody by anyone or anything else the scripture tells us that we were crucified with him and we now live with him he living his life through us so it is not really the believers life it is christ's life that we are partakers of the life i now live in the flesh the scripture tells us has to be one of faith in Christ Jesus Christ is the one who loves us and gave his life he is the one who made it possible for us to live by faith so the believer is identified with Christ in his death not only was he crucified and Calvary but I was crucified there as well because I was in him. This means that the end of me as a person seeking to merit or earn salvation on my own, by my own efforts is over. It means the end of me as a child of Adam it means the end of me as one under condemnation of the law it means as my whole unregenerated self all this is passed away as the Bible says and the old is gone and the new is here the old evil me have been crucified. So it has no more claim on my daily life. And this is the true standing. This is who we are before God. And it should also be true as well according to our behavior, according to our practices. God has now taken the one who has come to believe and the lord jesus christ is son and position or place such believer standing in christ and as we grow in grace and in his knowledge and as we become mature then our behavior our attitude our practices will align with that of jesus christ because he is the one who is now living in us remember the apostle says it's not i that live but christ that lives within me so the believer does not cease to live as a personality or as an individual but one who is seen by god as having died is not the one, same one who is now living it is no longer how you live 
but Christ who lives in me. The Savior did not die for me in order that I might just go on living my life as I please. He did not die so that I can choose to live to honor and serve his opponent, which is the devil. He died for me so that from now on, he might be able to live his life in me, manifesting himself through me. The life which I now live in the human body, I live by faith in the Son of God. And as we know, faith means that the believer is depending. Faith means that the believer is trusting. The believer is relying on Jesus Christ, saying, I can do nothing of myself, but it is Christ who lives through me. So the believer now yield your life to Christ and allow him to live his own life in them. The believer's rule of life is now living for Christ, living unto Christ. So that believer will say, the law no longer have any hold on me. No longer is the believer striving to live a good life, but the believer by faith is now trusting in Jesus and Jesus himself will live that good life through the believer. So one's life will become what? Holy, not out of fear of punishment, but live to please God out of a heart of love, knowing that the Son of God first loves us and gave him life, his life as a ransom, a sacrifice for our sins. Today, my friends, if you have not turned your life over to the Lord Jesus, you can do so, so that his life might be manifested in your body. Let us remember the Christian's life is a life of faith and daily we should walk living by faith. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share and please visit my YouTube channel Daily Med with Lady V.